In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do a balloon garland that is worth $500. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. If you're new here on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the decor, design, and business tips that I give here on my channel. I haven't made an organic balloon garland on my channel in over a year and a half, so just know fair warning that this video is going to be a little intense because I get frustrated because it's like I'm starting all over again. My Inspiring Designs channel has evolved in something that I couldn't imagine and I've heard so many things of what you guys needed. I decided to put everything all bundled up in a membership that will be an affordable price for those of you who are just getting started. So this membership is called Design Your Dreams society and it's for event designers who are just getting started who stumbled upon their creative skill and who are lost about how to even start a business let alone find their first client so if this sounds like something you might be interested feel free to click the link down below you might be surprised that it might be perfect for you it's a great way to give you all the resources that i've learned over the last four years to start an event business let's see how to do an organic balloon ground that's worth five hundred dollars and if you stay until the end i'll walk you through how i came up with the price so please keep watching I decided to use Jamar balloons because there is an Orlando distributor so I'm able to get the balloons pretty quickly if I need them for last minute balloon tutorials um, I would suggest going on their Instagram or website I'll link everything down below so that way you can find um, a local store near you or to see if they ship in your area The biggest key to charging more money for your balloon garlands is using various size balloons. So right here I have a 12 inch on the left and a 19 inch on the right and I'm tying them together and I'm going to incorporate them in the base of my balloon garland. Some people add them later on and some people bring them in. I'm showing you what I like to do. One of the biggest questions I get asked in my previous videos, how do you know when to stop? Well, if you get a cone shape like this balloon right here, that usually indicates it's reached its capacity. And I always release air from the balloon so they don't pop. That's another thing I hear from you guys all the time is like, my balloon's always popping, especially outside. Well, use high quality balloons like Jamar and make sure to release some of that air. And here's a quick slowdown for you on how to tie the balloons. I just twist them and then tie a knot right in the middle. As you practice more, you will get faster and quicker with it. So I would definitely recommend using maybe some Amazon kits that you can get for like $14.99 on Amazon. I have a link down below and practice tying your balloons so that way you get a lot faster. This color combination was really cute, but in fact, I don't know if I ever told you guys that turquoise is my new favorite color, but there's a huge meaning behind it. My grandmother who passed away a few years ago was like my second mom, and in order to honor her presence, I decided to incorporate her favorite color, which was turquoise at the time. So this is why turquoise is in my inspiring designs world. Now you know some fun facts. <music> Okay, so we're going to get some fishing wire. I had a 10 pound fishing wire, but I recommend trying to get the heaviest one you can get because I've noticed the thicker the string, the less likely it will pop your balloons when you're doing um, the circle or figure eight when it comes to putting the balloons together. Just FYI, I didn't know this for a long time until I realized like a thicker string obviously will not pop the balloons as much as a thinner string, which is the lighter versions of the fishing wire. So as always in my previous videos, you have to make sure that you 
put the duplets in opposite directions when it comes to tying them to your fishing wire so you go over the first set apply a little pressure go under the second set and then pull when you have holes in your garland it's because you're not pulling tight enough just fyi that's another question i get asked on all of my balloon tutorial videos and this is the one thing that will help you when it comes to building a base for your garlands Another way for you to charge a lot higher is this new trend called color blocking. I think color blocking adds a different luxury feel to your balloon garlands. This is just my opinion, but it looks a lot more organized and put together and it's very attractive to the eye when it comes to your clients. So color blocking is definitely something I would recommend adding into your mock setup designs, but if you add the sporadic ones that I've done in before, that's okay too. So here's another slowdown of putting the balloons in. Remember, you're going to push down with your left hand or your right hand, and then you're going to pull the string over, under, and then pull a little tight. Not too tight where it's suffocating the balloons and it causes it to pop, but just make sure that it's tight enough so there's no gaps in between your balloons. Another question I get asked is how many balloons do you use in your balloon garlands? I'm going to be honest guys, I never measure. I just intuitively stop, which is probably the worst recommendation. However, once you keep practicing, you're able to guesstimate a lot quicker when it comes to your garlands. When it comes to hanging your balloon garlands either on a wall or on a backdrop, you can use 260 balloons. A lot of people use that particular um i am still a balloon string girl i love it it's flexible i can tie it and customize it any way shape or form and it's just my preference so i still do the balloon string to attach the garland to the wall but again you can use zip ties you can use 260s that's a big one when it comes to attaching it to the wall now this part i'm making a minier minier a mini garland to add to the top i used to put the whole garland and then arch it um, at the top but i found out that utilizing two different garlands to construct your entire balloon garland is way more efficient with your time so i'm measuring it right now to make sure it's the right size even if there's a little space i can add some fillers in there that will definitely cover it <laughs> When it comes to attaching the top garland to the vertical one, I utilize a 260. Sometimes I wrap it around the balloon and some most of the time I tie it. It's really up to you what you want. So a friend of mine named Liliana, she is from Bubbly Balloons. I will link her information. She taught me that um, I should tie the balloons to the garlands now if you've seen my other video when it comes to tying balloons it is not a happy scene however tying your balloons creates less gap in your garlands and makes it a lot fuller and it's less materials you have to buy so i say you have to practice just like how i'm going to be doing because this video is going to show you the real truth behind what happened I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sweating. I'm frustrated. I'm trying to tie the balloons, but <sighs> sucks. Freaking sucks, man. That's what happens when you stop doing it for like almost a year and a half. Ugh! Uh. 
you know me i'm always going to keep going i am currently now putting um clusters to the balloon to make it look fuller i suggest you watching this video right here in order to know how to construct them because i still utilize the same method and if you really need help with getting clients in the door with building a business from scratch where you don't know what you're doing my membership will be opening september 6 2021 feel free to join and click the link down below i hope to see you there So now that you watched the video on how to create this balloon garland, I wanted to walk you through a micro way of why I would charge $500 or more for this balloon garland. As I mentioned before, I don't know how many balloons I've used. I just know how much I paid my balloon supplier, the amount of cost it costs to do the balloons. Since technically speaking, it took three hours to create um, this entire balloon garland from start to finish, I'm going to include that in my overall price for me i want to make a pretty decent profit when it comes to my balloon business so if my supplies cost about a hundred dollars then my time is very valuable because i take into account with travel and how much time it's actually taking me to prepare going to the supply store buying the balloons talking to the client all of that which is why $400 is worth a profit for my time. A lot of people ask me in Instagram, especially in my coaching program, how much would I charge? When in actuality, it doesn't matter how much you would charge. It's all about what you want to make. At the end of the day, as long as you're making a decent profit and you're finding clients who are willing to pay, that's all your pricing should be up about. Well, I hope you guys continue designing your dreams into reality and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, Florida.